Let us see the structure of sporophyte of polytrichum. After fertilization, the egg gets fertilized and it develops into a zygote and the zygote forms the sporophyte. That is when you look at the female plant, the archegonia is born at the apex of the female gametophore inside a cluster of leaves called as the perigonial leaves. And after fertilization, the archegonia or the egg cell changes itself into zygote or the fertilized product is called as a zygote and this zygotic cell develops into a sporophyte. The sporophyte of polytrichum has three distinct regions. One is the foot Zeta and the capsule. The foot of polytrichum sporophyte is a dagger shaped structure which is made up of thin walled parenchymatous cells. This foot gets embedded into the tissue of the gametophore and helps in conduction of water and nutrients to the developing sporophyte. Above the foot we find a long slender zeta. The zeta carries the capsule to a distance away from the foot region. The length of the zeta is different in different species of polytrichum. For example, in polytrichum commune, the zeta is around 5 cm in its length and about 0.5 mm in its diameter. When we look at the transverse section of the zeta, we find the zeta has an outer epidermis. The epidermis is followed by hypodermis which is made up of sclerenchymatous cells. Following the sclerenchymatous hypodermis we find the cortical region which is thin walled parenchymatous cells and in the center is the central strand. The central strand is made up of cells called as hydroids. So this is the transverse section of the zeta where you have the outer layer called as epidermis followed by hypodermis. The hypodermis is sclerenchymatous then is the general cortex and the central cylinder. The central cylinder has cells called as hydroids which help in conduction of water. Above the zeta is the capsule. The capsule of polytrichum is differentiated into three zones. One is the basal part of the capsule which is called as the epophysis. The central region of the capsule called as the theca and the upper part of the capsule called as the operculum.